What is up, Janksters? We are back in the saddle with another deck build. This is Mardu Reanimator, leveraging a lot of the cool Duskmorn stuff. This was actually uh, recorded and created during the Duskmorn streamer event. So, Wizards, thank you for giving me an invite and making it possible. Because I got to say, I've been itching to try this kind of a deck. And now, actually rolling up my sleeves, getting in there, and putting this together... I think we're onto something special. Uh, so thank you. And Duskborn is making this possible. The key build around here is Rite of the Moth. This looks like any other reanimation spell at first glance, except it actually has a lot of other things going on. It is color intensive. The need to have white as well as double black is a tall order. So you can't just throw this into any kind of five color deck and expect it to be fine. You got to be really deliberate about how you sequence your mana and how you, you know, what lands you include in order to make sure that you're actually casting this on time. Because the benefit of Rite of the Moth is that you can cast it on four. A lot of the reanimation spells nowadays cost five. And so being able to get this out a turn earlier is significant. So the rest of this deck is all about filling our graveyard to try to find Valgavoth, Terror Eater, and get it into the graveyard. The way that we're doing that is with cards like Bitter Reunion, uh, Bitter Triumph, Liliana of the Veil, kind of the classics that can help you discard cards. We also have a Fear of Missing Out, which is a new two-drop from Duskmorn that allows us to discard a card when it enters the battlefield, and it's a 2-3 two, for two. So that helps us if we have Valgavoth or one of our other reanimation threats in our hand. We can just chuck it into the graveyard, draw an extra card for our troubles, and FOMO actually is a really powerful uh, little entity in that if we have Delirium, which we will likely get to often, uh, we can actually take multiple combat steps in a turn. And so once Valgavoth is online doing the thing, being able to swing twice can shave a turn off of our clock, which is kind of a big deal. So that Delirium mode on FOMO is kind of a bonus. It's not the point, like why it's in here, but it is nice and can be relevant. So it's a threat that the opponent has to respect. I love it. We also have Overlord of the Bale Merc. This is another way that to help fill our graveyard. It is a five drop, uh, but we can cast it for the impending cost of only two. So if we do drop it for only two, it puts four cards into our graveyard and then sits there and is a threat that the opponent will have to worry about later if our primary plan doesn't quite come together. So I kind of love that, if I'm honest. It's also something that we can reanimate in a pinch and not feel too bad about in, in the end. Um, and it can fill our hand in the process too, grabbing FOMO or our, you know, gnawing vermin, Liliana, those kinds of things. So it's not amazing um, as far as like pulling back from our hand, but it will fill our graveyard like crazy. And that's amazing. The other card that I found um, to really overperform in this deck was the Overlord of the Boiler Bilges, the Red Overlord. The impending cost on it is awfully steep. Four mana for four damage is really not worth it. I'm going to be the first to tell you that. It's four damage to anything, including your opponent's face. So there might be a time when you just need to do that to just close out a game, and that's fine, I guess. But the main benefit with that is as an alternate reanimation target. If you use a Rite of the Moth to reanimate it at a time when a Bitter Reunion is online and you can give it haste, you can reanimate this 5-5 five five onto the battlefield that domes your opponent for four, you can then haste it, swing, deal another four, and then and then the combat damage. That's a lot of damage out of nowhere. It also works beautifully with the other reanimation spell we have, Live or Die. Live or Die is beautiful. I love this card. And the reason for that is it's an instant. And so on defense, the Overlord of the Boiler Bilges, Bilges can also come out, kill one of the opposing attackers, and block. And then untap, go to your turn, and swing with it. So the amount of damage and the amount of sequencing that you can do with that, like the power that you can get out of that card is shocking. Like it's better than it reads, I promise. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, the main goal behind this deck is fill our graveyard like crazy in the early game, provide a little bit of disruption, and then stick a Valgavoth on turn four. If we can make that happen, we're having a great day. So uh, yeah, so I played a bit with this in the early access event, and we're gonna get to some of that uh, some of that footage. So this was taken from my live stream, twitch.tv slash hamhocks42. I'd love to see you out there. Uh, streaming Monday through Friday, playing primarily Magic the Gathering and just having a good time. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's get to some gameplay. Yum. So here we go. But yeah, oh, Valgavoth's faithful for the one-drop slot. Uh, Army guy, I like it. I'm worried that it might be a little redundant with the other stuff we've got going on, but it is a cool card. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, this looks fine, if not amazing. I'm going to throw the hello, and I'm actually going to... Um, re-enable emotes. I normally have them disabled, but we'll turn on for this, for now. 
Tells you think Overlord's not being legendary was a mistake? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's okay. Harry's Beer Guard, okay. Overlord of the Veilmark. Milling of Algavoth. Oh, you're staying put, dog. All right. Arabella. Uh-oh. We have a problem, yo. So wait, Arabella attacks, deals X damage to each opponent, gain X life, or X the number of creatures you control power to less. Okie doke. Impending. It's coming. So before they attack, Arabella is absolutely getting, gonna get blasted. Um, although Delny is also a problem, to be sure. So, there's that. Um, but I'm just over here trying to buy some time. That is what we're doing. So I would like to play out the Blaze Blazemire Verge and then play the Overlord of the Boiler Bilges. However, we don't have a swamp or a mountain down. And so as a result, I don't have a second red here. So that is hella awkward. Uh, to say the least. When I, win, um, I don't like this idea, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. Go ahead and drop the overlord here. So yeah, by forcing a discard, I'm going to disrupt their hand because a death trigger, if, if we down tick, they would attack the spear guard, got two rats and just been fully loaded uh, to to come at me like and be in a better spot than they were before I down ticked. So I would rather have Liliana now hopefully pull some focus. That's not going to. Balls. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, But okay, here we are. The reunion is going to just draw some stuff, which strikes me as acceptable. Um, that Harried Spear Guard is stopping this completely. Uh, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. You know what? I'm going to hate their hand. You won't gonna be. limit their stuff and our having another Liliana in hand wasn't gonna do us much so I'm hoping to find a liver die or a um or a uh, a right of the moth here if we can find one of those and we can get rid of Delny like if we can reanimate a boiler uh, the overlord we're gonna be in good shape uh, if we can't we're gonna be dead right here right now oof duh hello Right of the mouth, you're looking fabulous, darling. Fabulous. All right. So, do we Valgavoth or do we Overlord? I think I Overlord. Because that allows me to do this. He sacrifices the spear guard, not even a question, if I'm honest. But now with Delny gone, they only get the one. Overlord now gets the haste him ups, fires, shoots Arabella, and on our end step, the Overlord of the Bale Merc is going to go off impending, and I now have a 5 5 blocker. Check it. And then next turn, if we hit an untapped land, Right of the Moth can bring back Falgaboth. So we are down to one here, so yikes. Um, to be sure. Oh, one of your friends has to leave. Something suspicious. Whatever's in your hand, get it gone. Okay. So we're gonna keep the 5-5 five five back. Gonna pop that dude. Just gonna keep on punching, baby. Alright. No! 
Oh, hasty dorks for the win. Good game. All right. So close. Yep. But there's something here, right? There's something here. Yes. So that was very aggressive. Holy aggression, Batman. Um, This... This actually looks okay. I don't hate it. As long as we find another white source or black source and the gnawing vermin mills something good or we draw into it that are, so a bit of triumph can, can hit, I think we'll be all right. All right. We're on the draw, which kind of sucks. But honestly, gnawing vermin's probably going to find a, a hit, if, if assuming that Mythic Mike is playing the same deck. Uh, also, this board looked freaking rad. Veteran Survivor. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, all right. That swamp is perfect. Right on time. Knowing Vermin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mill those two cards. Val, you beautiful son of a bitch. All right. Perfect. Perfect. I will gladly take that, take out that Savannah Survivor Lions. Um, going to do this. Arabella is absolutely going to get bittered. I will pay three life to, den to deny all the damage that's about to do to me. Uh, that's kind of a no-brainer, in fact. Let's go. Um... All right. Uh, I think we're gonna bitter triumph and discard. Discard a mountain here. No, I'm not. Gonna pay the life. Veteran survivor, you got it, dog. You got it. All right. Moth rights. Turn four, Valgavoth. We got it. All right. Sheltered by ghosts. You would like to target it? Would you like to sacrifice three non-land permanents? That's what I thought. Boom. Thanks. Not gonna lie. Feels good. Feels real good, in fact. All right. And now, Bailmerk, just down as a critter. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of mill going. And, I mean, opportunity to grab up, fo grab up some FOMO. Let's go. Yeah, we, we, we yeah, we just, we have it. It's, yeah, that's that. Um, Yeah, drop the Overlord. Drop the Bitter Reunion. Not even gonna discard anything, just crack it. Yeah. We untap Val, we get another combat after this one. Yeah. Brings a little, a little to hand, good game. There we go. So, that's what we're trying to do. That's what this deck's capable of. That was turn four, we were on the draw. Like, Seems good. Hey, we're going up against Villain J. That, that Villain J. Dude, Jay's, Jay's a great dude. Let's, uh, yeah. Good luck. Have fun. Hello, hello. Let's do this. I shouldn't keep this. I shouldn't keep this. I shouldn't keep this. We're going to get effing rockets. That's a land. It stays. Done. All right. Perfect. Let us impend. Oh, I can't pick up the other avatar. That's right. But yeah, nope. You're not going anywhere. Carnosaur, discover another reanimation spell, get another big bad. I mean, that is true. That kind of, that idea does kick many asses. Uh, I, I can't deny how sexy that sounds. Um, do I want to establish Lils? Or would I like to get another Overlord rolling? I think I want to just drop another Overlord. See if we can find a FOMO or 
of vermin. That's acceptable. You know, Kaiser, I wasn't necessarily planning on building around the 10-1 today. At some point, I absolutely will, though. Yeah, you better believe I'm going to do that. Because uh, that is an interesting one. Yeah. And the, the Oculus loops are also, an, you know, that um, the eye also has me kind of intrigued. The Slasher. Hello. I see that you are here. Unstoppable Slasher. And I plan to put your name to the test. If I'm honest. So we're going to drop this. We don't have another a second red source. So Overlord is going to hit the bricks. And we're just going to keep on cruising, baby. Another Lils is a little awkward, but that's fine. All right. But a uh, bit of triumph is going to help us keep the unstoppable, unstoppable slasher from, you know, slashing us up or killing the blood letter that he's about to drop. Um, chance of that coming very high. Yeah. Hey, blood letter of Aklazons. Who would have known? So, yeah. Blood letter is going to eat it. We're going to block the slasher. And Vermin is going to pick off the Skeleton. Um, so that, yeah, this turn we can drop Liliana. No tap down and take out the Slasher. It'll come back tapped, but that's fine, I think. Yeah, and it's stunned. Okay. Yeah, we're taking cards, uh... Every time with our overlords, is this card, especially when you get one to hand. Okay. Withering Torment. Yeah, Withering Torment. Popping the, the overlords, about to come off impending. Very nice, very nice. All right. Well, this overlord is going to be able to drop. Even If we find an untapped land, we can just cast it out, which would be kick-ass. Uh, if we don't, we can just impend it and still kill the slasher for good. Seems decent to me. All right. Well... It's a little awkward, but it'll be fine. Slasher's still gone for good. And we can start uh, picking away. Now, at this point, we've seen 25 cards. We haven't found any Rite of the Moth yet, and we also haven't found any Lives or Liver Dies. Those are all still chilling. All right. So, actually, Matthew, I think I might want to add a couple more red sources. Because right now, the Overlord is just not, um, yeah, the Overlord of the Boiler Builders, we just haven't had the red source a, a number of times, um, with that. And that, that kind of hurts. And so I'm thinking I need to, need to look into that, because maybe we're going too hard into white. I don't know. But yeah. The 10 money Yargle? Yeah, sadly, no. It's a, it's a blue mill crab, which is interesting. Yeah. So yes, what is getting hit is the question. Bitter triumph on Lils. That sucks. That sucks significantly, if I may say. That's my cue to leave. Yeah, so Val is here. Punching, gaining his life. On the impending, the Overlord of the Bale Merc is now a creature that can block the Unstoppable Slasher. So, if Jay has a way to deal... And on top of that, if the Slasher dies, Valgaboth sends it to exile instead of going into the graveyard. So, that's pretty decent. Yeah, it's a 10-1 for 3 that can't be blocked, but when it damages uh, the opponent, you prevent the damage and mill instead. Yeah. Hey, Tom, hello. How we doing? But yeah... There we go. Val with haste. Seems good. Seems real good. <sighs> I don't know if it's 24. Valgos faithful. Yo, what up? Well, that's a blood letter of Aklazots that you get to pull back, dog. Final vengeance. Uh-oh. Oof. All right. I'm going to pay one life to do this sag it to bring back a this is kind of a flex if i'm honest and maybe a bit of a douche move but yeah but it's fun Valgavoth! yay so yeah jay good game 
Uh, Villain J, great, great dude. Uh, member of the, I believe, the Black Council podcast uh, with uh, my buddy Numskull. Um, amazing stuff. Love that guy. So, yeah, GG's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish I could hook myself up with some of these gems. That would be real nice. Yeah. Yeah, actually, back uh, many years ago now, I think it was about four years ago, there was a creator program uh, that was actually sponsored through, or it was run through Stream Elements, which was interesting that, yeah, Wizards did um, to help get, you know, the Twitch category engaged uh, with Arena when Arena was so pretty new. And uh, it was really well done. It was really fun. And one of the things that they would do is if you would, if you met certain criteria, if you accomplish certain goals, um, they would like just give you codes that were worth gems. And so like part of the reason that I have such a bomb ass, um, account like part of the reason that like my account's in such good shape is that like they actually did help very early on in getting everything established you know uh a card like yu-gi-oh's convulsion of nature feels like a red enchantment i don't know that card i'm afraid i believe you that it would be good i don't doubt that for a second in fact fomo fo in the mo's yeah yeah Mowing the foes with the FOMOs. I need to stop. All right. Vroom, vroom! Oh, that lined up very nicely. Vroom, vroom, suckers. So what is wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. And you also never shine if you don't glow. So, Overlord of the Bale Marks, you're a rock star. Get your game on and go play. Or all-star, whatever. Whatever you are, be a good one. What? What the? Can you tell I didn't sleep well last night? <laughs> I need to stop. Anyway. Uh, so, Genshin also collabed with a car company? Interesting. Yeah, Daza, I checked. This special art does not appear to be a thing for Valgavoth at the moment. A uh, bit of a bummer if you ask me, but here we are. So... Where's the land? The liver dies in the graveyard. It's such a shame. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and down tick Lils. You're telling me what you know. I know Yoshin Frontliner can come out of the graveyard. Like, that's not an amazing setup. Uh, they're gonna torch Lil. That makes sense. Okay, cool. What? Oh, it'll be in the Mastery Pass, Chris. Probably. Yep. Ultra Nature, as long as the card remaining face up on the field, both players must turn their respective decks upside down in pursuit of the current duel. Ah, that rules! I love it. Uh, a thousand gems per, per hour for streamers. Uh, that's five hours. It's free for them to give. Yeah. I'm, well, and, you know, the... Um, yeah, I mean, in-game currency is one of those things where, yeah, I don't believe it's particularly expensive for him, and it would go a long way. Uh, and, you know, it would definitely be appreciated. There's no question about that. Uh, and so the fear of missing out is interesting because you you are forced to discard a card. It's not a May. So I guess I'm going to drop one of these Bitter Triumphs because I need my other land. Uh, if I drop the Caves of Koilos, there's a chance I miss right of the Moth and I can't have that. That's not an option. And we don't have a second red. So here we go. Enters, make two dudes. The dowsing device is going to be triggering on stuff. Okie dokes. Okie dokes. I see there are things happening here. Tinkerer's Tote. Sure, sure, sure. This just this year is going to get gonna get triumphed so hard you guys all right yep boiler villages Boop. yeah yeah so much white not enough red I clearly need to modify the the proportions a bit well I'm just going to flashback right Val. Adapt target creature. This phase, there's another one. Cool. 
That'll be FOMO. Um, and then step back to block, because that deck's got a lot of dudes. All right. But yeah, next turn is this before the villages. You're damn right. That's definitely the plan. Uh, Split skin doll. Let's go. Name's D's. Woo! Hello! FOMO, if you could do me a favor. Take one for the team right quick. Thank you. I appreciate it. I suppose I could have just taken that, but where's the fun in that? Um... Okay. So we can gnaw the vermin. God, even a fresh veil in the graveyard. Lovely. I guess I could have played two life and dropped the doll. Just draw a card. Because that would have, it would have cost life, not mana. That would have been fine. I should have done that, actually. There was no good reason not to. All right. Because as long as we have the gnawing vermin down, it would just be draw. But yeah, we easily have this. Yep. Yeah, playing against folks who don't have Graveyard Hate with this seems really good. Flip upside down, making the new uh, top would be funny in FGG. Yeah, because you get to... I'm assuming it's revealed. You'd get to see it. And then, yeah, you'd be... It would be the top of the deck. But yeah, but when you scry, would you look at the old top to move it to the bottom? Yeah, that gets weird. That gets real weird real fast. I'm here for it, but it's weird. <laughs> Crystal Grotto. Crystal Grotto. Yeah. Boosh. Yeah. That is absolutely game. And yeah, FOMO back to hand. This looks really good. FOMO was a great shout. Thank you for, for throwing that out there. Uh, but yeah, I needed some more red. Um, need some more red mana. That The mana base is clearly a little off. Uh, my proportions are just slightly off. Um, but holy balls. <laughs> like this. This is 100% as busted and stupid as I wanted it to be. I'm not going to lie. 100% as busted and dumb as I wanted it to be. Um, I hate a lot of things, but I don't hate that. All right, this looks acceptable. And hello, bearded MTG. Let's go. Cenobites. Yes, that's that's the word I was looking for. Oh, first, I'll see this. Uh, no touching the brain. That's how it gets you. No, that's that. That sounds right. All right. Yeah, my my um knowledge of horror medium is pretty lousy, if I'm honest. Yeah, surviving. Rock on, man. Hopefully that can shift to thrive in before long. Um, yeah, I'll take that. All right. Meticulous archive, very nice, very nice. Ooh, the fancy one at that. All right. So we've got, we got FOMO. When we drop FOMO, we have to discard something, right? And we don't have... Actually, you know what? The main goal of Fear of Missing Out in this deck is simply to get our reanimation targets into our graveyard. They're not in our hand yet. Therefore, I'm not going to play it. The mana efficient thing is to throw this out on turn two, but we're not going to get the value that we need. So I'm not going to stress it. Instead, I'm just going to play a Gnawing Vermin and mill a little bit, and hopefully we mill into into our reanimation threats. Um, You know, Bale Merc would have been nice to draw, but... That's fine. Yeah, it would have been, would have been nicer to drop, but that'll be all right. All right. Another vermin here is slightly awkward, except for the slightly part. It's like significantly awkward. Um, but <clears throat> I can do this. Establish a Liliana. I'm just gonna discard the the vermin, and accept that this Liliana is probably gonna get. Slapped around a little bit. Uh, anti tracker. Nice. All right. Surprised they printed so many scarecrow creatures, Chris Nick. Oh yeah, they're 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 not. Yeah, they're not afraid of that. They're leaning into it. 
it would seem. Rick Jordan, uh, for show primer. I get it. Yeah. Beanstalk? Hell yeah. Get it, get it. <sighs> Don't stop. Get it, get it. I would love to draw a Valgavoth here, use Fear of Missing Out, dump it, and draw into a Red of the Moth. That would be amazing. Yeah, it was a fun idea. Um, it was a real fun idea. FOMO! Um, you know what? I'm gonna loop Lils. Hmm. I'm gonna use Liliana's secret mode of not activate it. All right. So we have the liver die and we have the overlord of the bail Merc in there, which that at instant speed isn't terrible, but it's not amazing. Like if we top deck a big threat that we could use the Liliana to discard, that would be ideal. Like if we can get a Valgavoth and get, or the boiler bilges and get that at instant speed, that would be just delightful. Absolutely delightful. But yeah, George Hellraiser, Nightmare. Um, oh, you had Nightmares of Pin as a, as a kid, Matthew? I believe it. Never did uh, Hellraiser with updated CGI and stuff. You know, that is kind of a surprise that they didn't go there. Yeah. That is kind of interesting. And yeah, in Megadeth, we do have Delirium. So Fear of Missing Out can double tap, which is nice. Yeah. Trevor and Carnosaur at instant speed is vomit inducing. That could be. You're not wrong. Yeah, no, Carnosaur is. Carnosaur would be good in here. You're absolutely right. Right now, I'm I'm having fun with the new cards, uh, but because I'm thinking we'd probably have to cut. I mean, gnawing vermin, I guess we could probably cut without too much worry. Inquisitive glimmer, Tempest spells cost one less, and lone can cost one less. Ooh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Hey you, what's up? You are looking damn good, my dude. Damn good. Don't All right. But yeah, Matthew, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing the, playing the new cards for now, but yeah, it's an interesting, uh, interesting thought. All right, Eru. Leyline Binding, hey now. Hey now, don't dream it's over. Not my FOMO, not my FOMO, ah, my FOMO. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I am so over it. The amount of over it I am right now knows no bounds. For real, yo. Hello, Entity Tracker, how do you do? And so this is, yeah, whenever an enchantment control enters or whenever you fully unlock a room, you draw cards. You're going to try to ossify? You're going to try to ossify. Ooh, now. If I throw the overlord before the ossification drops, so you, yeah, they're just going to steal it. I don't want that. So they are going to draw the card off Entity Tracker, but this is going to suck up Lils. A delay. Nothing more. And if we're lucky, they will attack with the Glimmer. If they attack with the Glimmer, we reanimate the overlord block the glimmer and blast the tracker yes perfect boiler bilges bilging the boilers or whatever that means hey Beep -beep. please don't have a ley line binding please don't have a little ley line binding that would make me big sad poppity pops and we do not stop yeah all right <sighs> yeah, but I must be going. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Aw, oh, man, you're timing on that couldn't have been more awkward. It'll be fine, but damn yo! Give you excellent. Flame Tone Kagamu's big brother. Exactly. I. That's exactly what we got going on. Also, hello, hello. How are we doing? And Rain, I am having a good time. Yes, thank you for asking. Uh, yeah, we're, we're I think, what, four, like, this game four or five, something like that, and it's been fantastic. Honestly, like, this Mardu reanimator list is everything I want in this game. Like, it's, it's just making me so happy. I don't have words. This is all I ever wanted in a magic tech. Things are big. They're dumb. They're coming out of the graveyard. They're doing weird stuff. It's just, oh, delicious. Absolutely fantastic. So they're going to impend, do some lingering souls action. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, you're going to ossify my overlord. Rude. And by rude, I mean absolutely correct, but still rude. Um, slightly awkward. 
Oh yeah, Matthew, you knew the re reanimators on the menu. You're damn right it was. It was always gonna be. Poppity pops. And then I'm just gonna start impending. You know, we were one mana shy from just casting it out. Um, might as well get the damage while we can. Time to enjoy. Oh yeah, exactly. I'm, so, I'm, I'm just drinking it in, baby. Yeah, we're having a great time. Yeah, Overlord of the Boiler Bilges, of all things. Who knew? Very good card. Well, actually, Matthew knew. <laughs> That's why we're using it. All right. Yeah, and I was looking at it. I, like, I planned on using the Overlords in this deck. I knew they were going to be good in this kind of a setup. I didn't really appreciate just how good the red one was. Like, I was thinking the white one, you know, the the Withermores, that our or Mistmores, rather, that our opponent's using. I thought that was going to be solid. Um, But honestly, like, with the way that lines up, I love the aggression that this one gives us. It's just nice. It's just nice. Bit of reunion off the top would be pretty sweet. If we get to a point where I have to hard cast this, I'm going to be big Sag. Yeah. Not command on the Uh. Oh, yeah, Rain? Okay. Hey! Bit of reunion off the top. Ask and occasionally you shall receive. Boop. Occasionally. Do we impend this, do you think? Yes. We're gonna impend this, because we get to mill a little bit. Um. After we have that, we're gonna drop it. We're gonna build a little bit more, hoping to find a, we're hoping to mill a right of the moth. Is kind of my thought. And we do not, unfortunate. And we're in a maker kind of looks like a lich or something. Oh, Matthew, that sounds awesome. I love it. So you should run a, you should run an over Overlord of the Boiler Bilges. Uh, Travis, I would recommend Boiler Bilges. Just get it. It's really, really strong. Um, yeah, the card is just legit. It's it's better than I anticipated. You know, um, yeah. So the Dread Mechanics is not the answer to Valgabot Summon? You're thinking you want to manifest Dread in response to Valgavoth? I mean, if you... I mean, the Unwanted Remake would deal with it or something like that. Okay. Yeah, Abo, I see you. I sure is a non-domain domain deck. Uh, we're just gonna gonna hold this in case we get a FOMO or something that lets us dump it. Third notification, sure. This puts us down to one. Yeah, the Inquisitive Glimmer does reduce. Um, well, no, it doesn't reduce the migration at all. But it reduces up the beanstalk. It reduces the, the overlords. Does all that stuff. Hey, kids, the bear with that with that raid. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, and welcome, raiders. My name's Graham. I go by Hamhawks42 on the interwebs. And we are here to have a good time and uh, play a lot of magic. We did not find the answer that we needed here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and discard that. And I'm going to go ahead and be sad. So, yes. Turns out the uh, the domain payoffs got there, and also we milled twenty seven. We we saw twenty seven cards between the mill and the draw, and uh, we didn't find a right of the moth. So there we have it, folks. Leyland binding, sure you got it. Yep. All right. But uh, kids, I am doing very well. How are you doing? Yeah. And thank you, thank you for the raid. It means a lot. I really appreciate it. All right. But yeah, so we got FOMO, we got the Overlords, we got Right of the Moth, we got Valgavoth. We're doing the reanimation thing. And uh, I gotta say, it has worked out a number of times today. Our th That time, we literally just didn't draw the piece we needed. That was all it was. We just didn't find the one thing we needed. I milled like a mother, too, trying to find it. And we got, you know, it was just, they were all in the bottom half of the deck. And there we have it. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons who make this show possible. And if you enjoy these kind of deck techs for as little as a dollar a month, your name can join these lovely folks. So thank you, Jellyfish, Dave E., Hal, Carl, Netsash, Big Mamu, and Vance. Thank you. I appreciate you. You rock. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. And thank you for making it to the end. 
always an impressive feed here on the YouTubes. So go ahead and check out other videos on the channel as well. I do a lot of shorts with a, with a businessman character that is always fun. So, you know, so, social media shorts. That's a fun thing, right? And uh, I'm also streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 42 See you over there. Take it easy, everybody.